What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my Let's Play of 2K17 My Career Mode. As if you can watch this, because currently there have been large attacks on one of the major do domain name services, and like half the Internet's fucked. Like, Twitter's been fucked, the PSN network here has been fucked, it's, it's the whole thing. Anyway, let's get into here, so hopefully the game shouldn't crash today. Because if the PS4 can't get onto its network, then there's no way it could possibly crash from trying to get to the 2K servers. Anyway, welcome to Friday, one-on-one -on -one with Luke Harper yet again, uh, last week of June in 2016, heading towards Money in the Bank, I believe. After I finish today's matches, I can finally afford to buy the High Flyer ability, and that will be the return of the 5-star Slug Splash. But, we'll get there. We'll get there. Authority goal is an OMG moment. I don't own any, so what's just not gonna happen, Trips? Sorry, Mr. H's. So certainly I can't attack my rival because he is in this match. I mean, I can attack him out of the ring, but I can't go interrupt his match to attack him or <clears throat> cut a promo or something. Gonna fight Luke Harper again. Uh, for like, you know, the fifth or sixth time, I've lost track already. Anyway, welcome to Friday, besides half the goddamn internet being down, like Twitter, and Reddit, and PSN, and PayPal, and just a lot of, you know, kind of important websites are not functional at the moment. Uh, they had been down, they came back up, and went down again, uh, and that is kind of an issue. But there is still wrestling news to discuss here, my fine friends. Uh, whoops. What are you... Attack? No! What the fuck is that shit? I... I'm... I'm hitting the button to change my focus here. And it's not... There we go. Have one of those. Right now, roll up for some reason. Oh no, Luke Harper! I'm pretty sure I hit that R2, but apparently... Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. Boom! I kinda hit the lie detector there, but not really. Back in the ring. Anyway, uh, I did manage to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cutscene. Cutscene is happening. Oh, Jaden Jet grabbing a leg. Now some massive distractions. Nope, now I get rolled up. You're out of here. Alright, well, so much for any more attacking of my actual rival. Are they getting rid of them both? Yeah, alright, sure. This is good now. I did manage to collect some wrestling news before the internet decided to, you know, completely shit the bed. Uh, and some of it was from, you know, last night. Principle of which being that AJ Styles is literally teasing on Twitter a match with the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. Now, he posted, he, he retweeted or something and quoted in an image that some fan had made about him fighting HBK at the Rumble, which is in San Antonio. I believe. So, it's in the Alamo Dome. Um, and I'm not sure how to feel about that, only because, for me, in, in, in wrestling, when you have your big-ass, I'm gonna retire deal, you should, unless you're Terry Funk, stay retired. Like, you're only going to most likely tarnish your legacy. Like, I can't imagine anything that, that Goldberg does uh, next month will do anything to help his legacy as, you know, a wrestler. And certainly, when Ric Flair did his t did his stuff in TNA after he already retired in WWE, it was not great. So, I'm not gonna say, yeah, I mean, look, certainly Sha Shawn Michaels was tricked, was pranked, was ribbed into getting into ring shape uh, back in Mania this year for that thing with the, the League of Nations. Remember the League of Nations? Yeah. Um, because they told him that Austin and Foley were getting in, in, into ring shape. They didn't. Um, but that was real funny. But yeah, he was in ring shape for Mania, so... I'm not gonna say he couldn't have a fucking stellar, five-star, amazing match in January. I'm sure he could. I'm sure he could have matches better than 95% of the guys on that roster right now. He's that damn good. One of the best ever. Certainly. I'm just saying, if you're gonna have your big ceremony, and you're gonna have your Hall of Fame thing, and your retirement... Just leave it at that. Leave your stellar career at that, is all I'm saying. But again, if they actually book this match, sure, yeah, fine. Like, I am fucking psyched about it. 
I'm just saying, from, from the perspective of guys who should stay retired, stay retired. Like, I don't see any value outside of, you know, putting more butts into seats to have one match. Like, you know, it, it, it's one thing to be retired and then come back and keep going, like Terry Funk, that egg-sucking dog. But other than that, like, to come back for one match, like, much like Goldberg, I'm not really sure, you know, what the point is outside of, hey, we're going to put you over a guy, or we're, 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 we're going to have you come in like Sting and then just lose, you know? Like, I'm not sure what the... the I'm not sure what the value in that is, because a lot of the guys they lose to are guys that are already pretty old, so... It's like, hey, we had Sting lose to Triple H, and Triple H not really a full-time guy anymore to do wrestling, so, you know... Anyway. <clears throat> anyway! Uh, Fox has signed a, a comedy wrestling project from The Rock, um, for their network, for a pilot, uh, that would... In, Involve when when The Rock was first starting out and dealing with uh, head raw the head raw writer Brian Gwitz I think I think how you, how you pronounce that I can't recall but yeah so they have signed it up for a pilot uh, it is like Will Ferrell's production company but I don't think he's actually gonna, gonna be in it I think it's just the one you know the 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 the, the, the company he's in charge of is gonna be doing that. Two. Three. What the fuck, Luke Harper? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You are the first one in a long time to not... To not lose. Like, I hit two Salt Shaker 2.0s. And you're going to kick out of that? Really? So yes, I'm looking forward to whatever the hell that, that thing is with The Rock. I'm looking forward to who the hell do they cast as Vince McMahon. That, to me, is going to be the most intriguing part. And how much like Vince are they actually going to act in that show? Because that sounds potentially hilarious. Potentially hilarious. Like, who do you cast, cast as all those backstage personalities? Because obviously they're all based on actual people. Because, you know, it's based on his early days in the business and, you know, the things he did backstage and, you know, all these larger-than-life characters and that kind of thing. So, uh, looking forward to that stuff. Um, but man, what? Anyway, Luke Harper, why won't you just fucking stay down? I don't understand. The game's still on normal and he's giving me the hardest time in the world here. Like, am I supposed to lose this match? Is that is, is that the idea? Because I don't want to lose this match. Alright, once again. Sunset flip powerbomb. Counter ref on his face. No! I have no stamina left. Luke Harper is getting up. I have no stamina left. How about a teardrop suplex? Two. Fuck, man. He has a finisher now. Luke Harper has a finisher. I don't know what his finisher is, but he has one. This is insane. This is, I'm just like, fuck you, stay down. Why won't you stay down? This is, this, this is unreal, Lawler. This is unreal. I should be done by now. I should have put away Luke Harper by now. This makes no fucking sense. Roll him up. Counter ref. Out of position. Out of position. Fuck, man. Why won't you stay down? Really? Stay down. Super kick. Super kick city. No, go to the fucking top rope. Go to the... God damn it. I have stamina. Go to the top rope. Don't be an asshole about it. Come on now. Come on, Neil. Just hitting it again. Just over and over again. Hitting him with the same moves. I don't even give a shit. All right. There we go. Man, that took way too long. Why all of a sudden, Luke Harper putting up a huge fight for me makes no fucking sense. It really makes no sense. Get out of my ring. What the fuck was that? I glitched. 
What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Holy shit. I'm looking forward to that first patch because, man, they got a lot of fucking work to do here. A lot of work to do. Next up, we have this triple threat match between myself, Chris Jericho, and Finn Balor on SmackDown. The authority goal is red body health. That might happen. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, so this should be the first uh, match here in uh, my career where I'm dealing with the rollout system. Um, which should make things a little bit easier, a little bit less of a cluster fuck uh, environment here in this triple threat. We'll see. Anyway, continuing, Chris Jericho just like, nope. He's just, just chilling. Just chilling. Um, aw oh crap. Aw oh crap. Let my guard down. Damn you, Jericho. Um, anyway, there was uh, some other, I guess, news. I reversed that. Fuck you, I reversed that. Um, some other news tidbits. Uh, one of which being that the original plan for NXT Toronto was Trish Stratus, not Mickie James. Uh, and I think that makes a lot more sense being in Toronto. But apparently, she was pregnant, so that wasn't going to happen. Uh, it's the kind of thing you would have you perhaps should, should, would or should have known about before you even thought about booking it in the first place. But, you know, these things happen. So, in any event, that, that, should, that, that should still be an excellent match. So I'm looking forward to seeing that, I suppose. Uh, anyway, Finn Balor just, no! Boom! Right in the face. Not cool, Finn Balor. Not cool. And I suppose finally, uh, I keep missing my fucking jumping thing here. Oh, I shouldn't have talked to there. The wrong, the bad sling blade, bad idea. Um, Jericho rolls out. I hit the suplexes, and we're and we're doing good here. So, going to the top, going to the top. Five stars. No, that was elbow. That was the elbow. What the hell was that? Going back to the top. Five star slug splash. It's too early, but 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 still, but still. Um, the other thing I had to, to, to discuss here was that, uh, apparently, James Ellsworth's t-shirt was the number one seller at Shop Zone, at the, at, the, at the fucking shop, like, above everybody else, like, Goldberg and Roman Reigns and everybody else, which is real funny when you think about it. Um, it's real good, so, I think... We've been strangely conditioned to cheer for the underdog, no matter how much of an underdog they are. When you look at guys like Daniel Bryan uh, and such, that we 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 we've been so ingrained, you know, like he, got guys like Heath Slater, you know, we've been so ingrained in in getting behind the underdog, even when we're not supposed to. Uh, then you know that that explains this whole James Ellsworth phenomenon right now. Um, and certainly, it is a phenomenon. Think about when he first appeared. He was just—he was the first guy to job out to Braun Strowman, right? Now, think about who did that match benefit more, Braun Strowman or James Ellsworth? Because James Ellsworth had a world title match, where Braun Strowman is nowhere near that. He's still fighting jobbers. So, real funny. Real funny. Anyway, I have a fucking finisher here and uh, getting my ass whipped by. Finn Balor, so that's a problem. So I don't want to use that finisher just yet because I need to have one guy in the rank. And uh, we're not quite there yet. Fuck you, Chris Jericho. Don't put me on the list. Damn it. I have my finisher and he just in is insistent on doing this bullshit to me. So fuck off, Jericho. How about a Salt Shaker 2.0 and Finn Balor still stuck out there. He's doing the early, early, early recovery, and Chris Jericho kicked out. So, doesn't actually matter now, does it? Hey, hey Balor boy! Oh, I didn't, I didn't change the damn, uh, I didn't change the uh, what call it? Attention, like I should have. I'm just gonna pin Balor right here. See, he's got a little minus there on his health bar because he came in too early to attempt to break up that pinfall. So, crap. Chris Jericho is at a, is at a signature. I, I'd be real careful here and not lose uh, because he's... I can't even get up here, so he, he might actually win. Nope. Thanks, Balor. Thanks for not getting pinned there. Appreciate it. 
All right, keep doing your shit, Chris. That's fine. You are nowhere near in a pinfall position right now, so I will 100% recover here as you do a back suplex off the side. Oh, Balor reversed it. Reversed it. I didn't mean to do that. On to Jericho, holy shit. What? I'm fired up. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, well. That was not the position that I wanted to be in, but, you know, is what it is. Playing to the crowd. Playing to the crowd. Okay, now, you would think, damn it. You would think if I could hit the, um, code breaker. Ah, oh, fuck. Ref's out of position. Way out of position. Fuck! Lost to Jericho. Well, he is the best in the world what he does, so. I could have had that. I feel like I could have had that. And Chris Jericho, just with the code breaker, that was all she wrote there, so. What are you gonna do? I had a signature. It could have happened. And the wily veteran Chris Jericho pulls it off. At least I got my authority goal complete. Anyway, that will do it for today. Hopefully the internet is back tomorrow. Uh, we are here. It's a two-on-two -two tag team match. I haven't checked the rankings on the tag team titles in a little while, but you would assume it would be the Dudleys and the Harper and Rowan, right? But then I just went here and looked, and it's not. The game managed to completely fuck that part of it up. And it's Eric Rowan and Devon Dudley and Bubba Ray and Luke Harper. And now it all makes way more sense. It all makes way more sense why Luke Harper is doing this. But why, in the blue hell, would this game decide the tag teams weren't actually tag teams? Like, fix your shit, 2K. Come on. Anyway, tomorrow, Money in the Bank hopefully going to increase our ranking, finish this rivalry, and then go after the Tag Team Champions. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out!